Dear learners, this is Dr. Afta Walam, Assistant Professor and HOD, Department of Business Economics, Abda Inamda Senior College. Today, we will try to understand the concept of meaning of macroeconomics. Dear learners, first of all, we will see the origin of macroeconomics. The word macro has origin in Greek word macros. It means large or aggregate. The term macroeconomics and microeconomics was coined by Ragnar Frisch in 1933. These are two most general fields in economics. In fact, John Maynard Keynes is the founding father of macroeconomics and he popularized the term macroeconomics at the backdrop of Great Depression. Dear learners, now let us see the different meaning of macroeconomics. According to Cambridge Business English Dictionary, macroeconomics means the study of the financial and economic systems of a country or an industry. In the words of Professor Balding, macroeconomic theory is that part of economics which studies the overall averages and aggregates of the system. According to Shapiro, macroeconomics deals with the functioning of the economy as a whole. Dear learners, in simple words we can say macroeconomics is the branch of economics that studies the behavior and performance of an economy as a whole. It focuses on the aggregate changes in the economy such as gross domestic product, balance of payments, growth rate and inflation. Dear learners, let us try to understand the concept with the help of an image. Here you can see the picture. Macroeconomics is a branch of economics that focuses on general or large economic factors. It looks at the big picture. Macroeconomics gathers and analyzes economy-wide data and phenomena such as inflation, unemployment, GDP growth and national income. It studies how the aggregate economy behaves. Macroeconomics contrasts with microeconomics which is the study of behavior of individual households, consumers, companies, workers and markets. In short, we can say macroeconomics is the study of macroeconomic variables related to the entire economy. Thank you.